Hey peeps, um, I'm going to do a video today. I um, be trying out these uh, unique products, as you may know from some of my other videos, and I've be decided to come and present her. Yay! So um, this pretty purple bag is my presenter's kit for Unique and I'm going to show you what I got in it and I'm going to do a look with some of the stuff that I got in it as well. So this was a complete bargain, isn't it? It's so pretty. It was the colour that was calling to me, I think. Um, £69, £219 worth of stuff in it. Now, I'd already been hooked on the Unique stuff since my friend started selling it. And when I started using it, I fell in love with it. Um, and then I thought, God, you know, £69, and I get all that in it, I might as well buy the kit. You don't have to become a presenter if you buy the kit. You can just take the advantage of the bargain. And then I just thought, you know what, well, got nothing to lose. Might as well give it a go. And it's going really well, actually. Um, I'm going to show you what I've got in it. So this is from their Unique Royalty range. This is a time-correcting uh, night cream. So this was a full, uh, complete full one of those in your kit. Um, and that's really nice. That's a cream you put on before you go to bed at night and is anti-aging, so that's fabulous. The other unique royalty range, this is, uh, you just get samples in the kit for this one. A couple of those, about that big. And this is the Instant Lifting Serum. And that, um, gives, uh, instant effects on wrinkles and, like, puffiness. Um, so giving those a go. I got samples of the detox mask, which is fabulous. So samples of those. Now these are you can they come in a full pot like the um, other one I just showed you, and it's um, black and it's not like these ones that you pull and rip all your face off with. This just you paint on, and as soon as the air hits it, it starts oxidizing and you can feel it fizzing and bubbling on, bubbling on your skin and then it just draws all the impurities out of your skin so that is fabulous i have tried that i really liked that and uh, what else do i get in here oh you get a little tablet with it that starts talking to you when you open your kit so welcoming you to unique and their story and whatever and you can use that for other things um uh what else should i get some of it's up here I got this lovely double-ended brush, so it's a sponge on one end, and then a angled fluffy brush, really nice brush that one, especially for doing your um, darker corners to your eyes. This other brush, which is just a flat round edged brush, that's really nice, which uh, goes well to applying these splurges. Now the splurges are cream, um, cream eyeshadows. Now, I always used to be put off by cream eyeshadows, like, because they used to, you see it like that, and it gets going all the creases, and then you'd end up with no makeup on. But these are not like that at all. Makeup has come a long way since I used to wear cream eyeshadow. It did put me off years ago, but makeup in general has come a long way since then. And these are fabulous, and they are super, super sparkly. You've got matte ones, and you've got the shimmery ones. Now, these shimmery ones, if I just not put a lot of colour on but just wipe it on oh you're not going to catch it in this light but it hit oh can you just see that there it hits the light and it is incredibly sparkly um and you can obviously build up the colour with that I'm going to put a bit of that on in a minute you got this uh lip exfoliator which is really nice you just screw that up and down want to so this has just got bits in it uh which scrub all the horrible skin on the tops of your lips and uh, it's made with sort of sugar and um, cocoa or whatever, coconut oil so you can just lick it off tastes really good so that's really good especially in this dry winter weather keep getting like really horrible a little bit it's really moisturizing which is great before you put on your matte lipstick this came in the kit as well this is one of the Splur uh, Splash Matte Lipsticks, which I love anyway. And this was in um, Sentimental, Colour Sentimental, which is really pretty. I'll, I'll put that on my hand so I can show you the colour. 
I can do something different on my lips today instead. Really, really pretty colour. And you also got a lip pencil in peachy. So that is that colour. Really nice. These guys are super creamy, all their pencils. Uh, eyeliner in proper, I think it's called. Yeah. Uh, which is like a chocolate brown. They're really good at staying on. I mean, they go on really creamy and don't gouge your eye out like some of them do. But they stay on as well, which is great. And last, but certainly not least. Oh, no, not last. Hang on a second to last. One of the palettes. And you get palette four in your kit. So that's sort of uh, chocolatey shades and teal kind of shades, which is really nice. And then definitely last but not least is the uh, mascara, the 3D Fiber Mascara, which is one of their best sellers. It comes in two parts and uh, I'll get some makeup and I'll show you that, how to use that at the end. So I'm going to go and use my, I'm going to clip my hair that way, my fringy bit, always gets in the way. So I'm going to use the um, palette. I'm going to go in with this colour tender here because I like to have like a, just a sort of shimmery. I'm going to go and use my sponge. Just a sort of um, base colour all over. And this is a really nice sort of um, ivory colour with a little bit of shimmer. So it's good for your um, base colour. And also you're highlighting up here under the brow, that colour as well. It's really... So I'm just starting with that all over. And then I'll add some different colours in. I'll use my splurge as well to show you what that looks like. So I think I'll go in with Arrogant, which is the uh, lighter one out of the browns. You literally just need to tap this to get a bit of colour on it. Because it really... Um, you really get a lot of coverage from just a little bit and um i'd say sort of you know if you want more than that build it up because if you really like put too much on you get so much product that's why they're so good for such good for uh, value for money because you don't need a lot for it to go a long way so i'm just sort of same with the outer corner but just going in as well so it's a bit darker towards the outside but just coloring the rest of my lid in slightly with it um, do the same the other side. Just do it around, brush around the wrong way. Um, yeah, so that's um, a nice sort of um, sand, well, yeah, dark sandy sort of brown, I suppose. Start with that. And then I might add a bit of cheerful in the teal colours. Now, all their palettes... I think some people look and think, oh, you know, I'd either say this end or this end. All these palettes are made, so all these colours do go together. Um, and you just have to have a play about with them. That's a really pretty colour. It always looks weird at first, because when I haven't got any mascara on. So I'm just going to stay in that outer corner there. Go in the other side too. It's always more difficult to do it in the uh, thing, so I'll do it in my handy little mirror that comes on the palette as well. Oh, that's much better. Pretty teal colour in Cheerful, that one. Just blend that out a little bit. Make sure I've got it even both sides. And then I might go in with the darker sort of bluey colour as well, which is called Triumphant, just right in the corner, just in there, just to make that dark bit a little bit, that corner there, just to darken that corner. Light is awful, it looks really good in my mirror, but in the uh, light of the camera, it doesn't look nice. <laughs> But I'm sure you it does. Then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to brush some of this colour off on my hands. And I'm going to go back in with the Arrogant. Because I'm going to put that a bit higher up here. Because I think I need a little bit more 
see this stuff there. And then I am going to go in with my splurge and I'm going to use this one and just take a little bit of that and use my mirror again and I'm going to go in here with splurge and just blend it in with the other colour so in the corner of my eye I'd like to say these um, products go a little goes a really long way so don't be getting a load of this digging it out of the pot on your brush you really don't need it and as you see that's a lovely gold sort of shimmery color I think that really sets off the rest of it put that on there pretty 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 there we go. Let's see if it catches the light. It's sort of a bit um I don't know, it seems like quite Egyptian y colours these ones. I'm just gonna blend that a little bit. Yeah, it's I don't know why, it just sort of I suppose Tutankhamun's uh thing with all teals and golds reminds me of that. I'm going to go in with my Moodstruck Precision Pencil Eyeliner in proper and I am going to go under my eye just under here it goes on really nice and easy and then I'm probably going to smudge that out a little bit with a brush really nice chocolatey brown and what I'm going to do is just get the end of my sponge and I'm just going to like blend it out a little bit so I get that smoky eye look and, and make the line sort of less harsh like this Dun. and now Piste de Résistance, the Mood Struck 3D Fiber Lashes. So, this is two parts. The longer one, the taller one, is your transplanting gel. And the shorter one is your fiber lashes, which comes on a fluffy stick. So, these are individual little sort of fibers. You're not going to see it in the. Uh, see that? So when you stick tiny, tiny little fibres that clump together on your eyelashes, stick to the fibre and make them longer and thicker. So I will show you how to do that. Good thing is probably to curl your eyelashes first, which I've already done. And then you go in with this, it's just like a normal mascara. Um, it is black. Um, so you can see where you're putting it. This is so. This is step one. There's like three steps. I think people always forget to do the third step, which is very important. Do one eye at a time as well because you want this to stay wet. So you can put your fibres on it. So this is the bit you want to do. Get really nice. How you want your eyelashes to look. Then give these a little bit of a wheel just to loosen all the fibers in the pot and then I always sort of opening my eye quite like this because they are fibers I sort of tilt my eye downwards can't do this on the camera so that you know if any do come off when you're applying they don't fall in your eyes but once they're on they're on and then they don't fall off at all when you're out and about as long as you do step three dropped a bit which is going back over with this to seal it a lot of people forget to do this bit and then wonder why they've all fallen off once this is done they won't fall off or oh, just blobbed myself do you know what I'm so good with makeup but I always bloody manage to do that 
and then yeah so as you can see that line's got none on and this one is really full and then um, you can put the fibres on the bottom I don't tend to bo put bother putting the fibres on the bottom I just put a bit of colour on my bottom lash because um, I don't want really long ones on the bottom but you know everyone's different can have whatever they want and you can do as many coats as this as you like so the more you put on the thicker and fuller and longer they will be so let's do this side make me even see look i've done it again it's because i'm looking in the blooming camera and not in a mirror i'm not, I'm not judging how far away i am <laughs> so yeah this is a yeah it's really really nice this mascara um if you try and do this with normal mascara and keep doing coats and coats and coats, it ends up going really clumpy and waxy, doesn't it? And then you feel like you end up having to pick them off. And when you take your makeup off, you get all black eyes. This is so easy to come off. Just soap and water or however you wash your face and it comes straight off. It doesn't um, take ages to get off. And they're super light. And don't weigh you down like... Um, fake eyelashes do I do not wear fake eyelashes anymore these are just great so I'm certainly converted I went off with fake eyelashes a long time ago to be fair um, but if you want that thickness that you know you get from a lash that makes you look you know a bit different for your night out these certainly work I think anyway. Just a bit under the bottom. And there you go. The pretty browns and teals colours. Um, in a proper light. This, oh, this light is awful for me. But that's, um, yeah, so that's a blend of the colours you can get in uh, four. Um, I'm going to put Peachy on my lips. This is the lip uh, pencil you got. See how easy it goes on without... I know why I look funny because I'm really pasty at the moment. And I sometimes just use this as a whole lip colour because I think it's a really pretty colour. And I fill my whole lips in with it. It's a really, really pretty colour. This quite, um, goes quite nice with the um, the teal and the brown colours, actually. And then what you could always do is you mix and match about with these um, makeup. Doesn't need to say that the eyeshadow can't go on your lips. So to give it a shimmer, I'm just going to put a bit of my splurge over the top of my. peachy lip liner and then you've got a shimmery lip colour you see that really pretty yes so that is my unique presenters kit this is a look that you can make with it and this is how thick and full you can get your eyelashes just with one coat, if you do more than one coat, but even more dramatic. Thanks for joining me and please subscribe to my channel and I hope to I hope you join in another day. Thanks, bye.